fifth in the AFC Championship game. Off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here we go. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. DJ DJ Reader there on the tackle. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second and ten, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And you know, I gotta say, if it's gonna be this cold, I want snow. But you should see Charles. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. The Clemson product, DJ Reader, got in for the sack. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. It's certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he's able to find Diggs. Woo! And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the a, third down conversion. That was a Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting so on third and 15. Yeah, worked out. <laughs> My own all, all, all line tried to get me, man. Tried to... Throw me under the bus. Allen now on first down. The left side caught by Diggs. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that there guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just right. happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Working out of the shotgun. Step Here's up in the pocket. And he's going to use his legs. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Even though it's the opening drive of the game, he wasn't shy about taking off and running with the football, even knowing the defense is definitely going to take their shots at him. And that's exactly what they did. He better learn to slide, otherwise he won't be around to finish this one. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. And the Bills' first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On first down, Allen. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. Allen's and a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. That catch good for only a couple. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. 
taking it in from four yards out. And the Bills take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The tackle made by Levi Wallace. Brings up second and 10 at the 25-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Here's Burrow. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. He finds Tompkins complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the... Third down conversion. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. He'll drop this one down to mix it. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense. Finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. First and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. Burrow throw over the middle. It's Thomas. Pass the 20. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A big play there. 48 yards. And the Bengals are an extra point away from tying up this football game. <laughs> 
Off for the point after is Randy Bullock. <laughs> it's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. At seven. Randy Bullock to kick off. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. Seven seven here as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A gain of nine. Brings up second and one. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. From the gun, it's Allen. Flushed out right. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's finally taken down, but not before he reaches the 14. A big play here for the Bills. 52 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Singletary here running out of the gun. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Back to back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. And now he'll tuck it and run. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Second and goal from the one. And they'll turn to a power game to try to get in. And he is in the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Bills have taken the lead. And that's why you have the fullback, Charles. Couldn't get it in the play before with a smaller guy. Turned to a little more power. They score it. And now it has to warm the hearts of a lot of old-school football fans. They love when they get to see a little bit of power football. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. They'll break the huddle and come out with four receivers, three of them to the right side, second and seven. Now it's Burrow. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Toss left, Nixon, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Let me 
Let's see. This, this should work. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. Oh, sugar mom. Just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Sorry, dude. That's a game of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. If points result, we'll call this play significant. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To the air again, Burrow. Dancing to his left. He'll run it. Now Burrow loses the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Thank goodness for heaters up here. And thank goodness I don't have to carry the football in this game. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits. Not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there. That was a bad run. And he'll get this in the enemy territory, but not by much, as he's down to the 48. Let's see here. Brings up second and nine. Ooh. We got cover three coming out. Cover three, cover six, cover nine. Cover second quarter action, two Ooh. minutes to go on divisional round weekend. Nothing. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Man. Judgment standing by in Orlando to or let you know what's going on here on a very action. eventful divisional no. round weekend. Escaping the pressure right. Oh! So it didn't one. give coming me the possession catch. Back across his body. Picked off by Von Bell. And it didn't give me the possession catch. That's the return mm. stops. Oh, wow. When he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly. Oh. Accepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when yeah. you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. He was looking for Joe Mixon there out of the backfield. And now it's second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now Burrow to Mixon on the check down. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Abbeyfield does stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Second down, here's Burrow. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Burrow. 
Oh, let's go. And we go. Boom. Boom. That's what we need. That's what we need. That's what we need. Got the ball, baby. The timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little you. late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. So after the INT, it's Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Brings up second and two at the 46-yard line. From the gun, Allen flush to his right. Oh, yeah. He's got it complete to the Let's right go. side. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Just man this up, but... Do you? Operating from the gun. Allen under pressure and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Now the Bills right. will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in <laughs> half number one. So second and long and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Eluding the pressure right. Throwing right and that's complete. So the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Oof. Yeah, this is, I think this will work. Allen from the gun on third down. Ah, that'll bring up fourth down as his Cincy defense stands up on third. Incomplete on the throwaway. Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. Yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And they will move up by 10 point ten lead. Let's go. 17 to 7. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get four on the deep board in the last two minutes of the half. They'll be real excited. I haven't they seen have those up on the board. No, I wouldn't believe it. The Cincy no. offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they will play this. No. I think what we'll you're find trying out to just do. how much they trust their Terrible. guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Here's a second and two now from the 33. And two at the 33 yard line. Burrow looking to pass. Going oh no! Downfield for Ross. A draw. And this will be incomplete. One incomplete. second left to go. Incomplete. For Davius White on the cover. After the incompletion, here now third and two. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. And that is incomplete. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Oh, I shouldn't have this Winner go home. That's the name of the game. And we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional Round. And this will oh, be wow. a touchback yeah. as that sails over the end line. Here we go. New plays he's gonna pull out today. None, probably. I wouldn't pull out any more. The Bengals drive about to get going. We have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives. It has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally. And you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay. Oh. We self scout every week in our game plan. How many think things do we do at a certain oh, no, times with our okay. tendencies? Time to go to some of those mentioned. tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That's what I was looking for. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. At the 39 yard line. From the gun to give to Mixon. 
He's got a first down and then some at midfield. Brought down across the 50 to the 49 yard line. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. Now they run with Mixon. Oh, he's got a little daylight. 20. 36 yards on the play. This is right. good time. Can't line so up in that. It's been the running game for the most part. This powered him down there. Right. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's second and 10. Shotgun, I got stuck it. on my own guy. I should just stayed in uh, three four. Right? The week off hasn't hurt him one bit. Thousand yard rush in the regular season. Got his first touchdown here in the playoffs. Perhaps the week off energized him. A great article in the paper this morning, basically saying that they would not have won the division without him, and he's not their only piece. But I think that's a fair statement. It's easy to say it this way. He's their main cog. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Now an option play on second down. Ooh. Remember, don't let Josh Allen's size fool you. 6'5", 240, but he can move pretty well. It he did not give that ball off like I thought he was going to. Thing. When he came out of Wyoming, you could see on tape that he could move fairly well. But you didn't see him as a big-time running threat. That really evolved when he hit the league mm. with the Bills. My only concern about him is at 6'5", got to learn to make himself a little smaller when it gets to be the point of contact because I don't want him getting hurt out there. And we're seeing, though, that he can execute the RPO pretty well. Boy, can he ever. And that size does come into play for him because he can see over the top of the defense and make a decision about whether to keep it or whether to throw it downfield. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep. Oh, let's go! And finally, he's taken down at the 18. Let's go! So a little extra on top of the big play there. It's Let's tough go. for guys rushing the passer, but you have to know when the ball is gone. And if you listen, officials will tell you ball's yeah. gone. He didn't that. pull up. I can probably run this though. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Oh, good. Singletary. Good. Fuck it. Across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary, his second touchdown of the afternoon. Yeah. The Bills will add on to their lead. And his guys will take All a right, defense. lead. Give me one more stop. The score, over. Bills 24, Bengals 14. Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Mm, 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 mm. Where are we running? Mm. 
Pick the play. Okay. Since the offense about ready to go here on their next drive, they did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago. Oh, started at halftime. Yeah, exactly. That's right. my fault. Oh, their step That's my fault. Touchdown. But the defense I had the right guy. And That's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Well, live. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. The toss play to mix it. We'll take it. Two yards on the pickup there. We'll It'll be it. second and eight. Well, that's a real nice we'll job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. And Oliver. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. Still just a third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. That's to his running back complete. Oh, couldn't get underneath it fast enough. To the, 35. the time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. He finds his running back, Mixon. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 26. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Gain of five. Brings up third and one. Once again, they run with Mixon. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They tried their best to pick up that third and one, but their surge wasn't enough to counteract what came back at them from the defensive side, was it? Offensive line, especially in the middle, looked like they were on skates a little bit when that one started. So now we bring up fourth and inches. This will be a critical call. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, Got man. Ross complete. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. John Ross, 26 yards. And the Bengals able to get this back with a touchdown. And this one through the uprights and good. Randy Bullock to kick off for Cincinnati. Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. come to the line to start their next drive oh, and this has been a tight game to this point of course they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs but with the lead and the football the clock right now their friend as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next sunday the improv on the scramble there gets him six and it'll be second down one yard line that's not good that's not my play there it is <sighs> and 
They'll run here with Singletary. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Rolling to his right. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. Damn. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A well-executed 22-yard gain. So the shotgun snapped to Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Three yards remain for second down. Brings up second and three. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. Ah, that's my fault. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. The Bills on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and three. Now Allen again. And he's able to find Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's got the first down. Boy, he was dynamite in the wild card game last week. He hasn't disappointed in this game either. Oh, no, I don't think I can do that. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. There we go. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves it with two to go on second down. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is, first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score. And this game's over. Ah! Damn it. On second and two, Allen. Hey, look at this. Couldn't get it over him. It's all good, though. It's intercepted. Picked up by Nikel Roby Coleman. A seismic oh, shift. Oh, I should just threw it away. The That's the break that the defense needed. And you know it's throw it over that guy. People are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to try question to throw the execution, over that guy. not necessarily the call. If you'd have set me back to the end zone, those defenders fine. found a way to give their team a chance. They will throw on first down with Burrow. He's got his man on the crossing route. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards, the final tally. Shotgun, it's Burrow. Let's go. Crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off here at 29. That's a good game. And the return this time will go out to the 42 yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle Not of the field. Few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it, and it took the ball off course. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. On the ground, it's Singletary. And some room to maneuver. That works. 
And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. That works. Devin Singletary saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Bills will oh, add on to their that's lead. Bad. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Makes the score Bills 31, Bengals 21. Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Let's see, Let's see if we can get some more picks. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Phillips on the return. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when yeah. you start that next yes. drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's you any way right you can me. run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose. Oh, he did yeah. come right to me. I just couldn't get it. But you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't I run into the offense at all. No. So we'll attack. We'll see how they attack him here. No. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Burrow escaping the pressure right. He's going to take the ball. Comes Dang, out. Joe Burrow, I ain't getting it up. <laughs> He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? So chance, Fortunate that one went out of bounds. Saved him from a turnover. Yeah, right now, right defensively, now. you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diving oh. in the field, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Hit. And he can't bring it in. Incomplete. Dang. Dropped it on the crossing route. Fourth down now. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Throwing now is Joe Burrow. Open man oh, is oh. complete to Higgins. I keep thinking Higgins is a tight end. Down, but not before he works it past hey. the 50. Fourth down, trailing in the fourth man. corner. They felt Look compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Open man is Ross complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. So look at this. They'll go for a field goal Ooh. now to get within a score. This to get it back to a one-score game. Miss it. Short. And this one is right down Broadway. And this is back down to a seven-point game. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, you, I guess. right? Baseball players, we're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the post. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Going deep for Diggs. Oh, let's go, and Diggs. Inside the 35. That's the game. The Bengals going to use the second their timeout. Unstoppable. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. So Allen's going to look to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 16 more on that one and another first down. Now they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely see great see start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Is it man? I don't think it is, but is it? No. 
operating from the red zone now. Allen, and this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. All right, well, that's on the a wrap. There before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Extra points the uprights. And a lead now up to 14. 24. Ooh, all right. Wheel. Tyler Bass to Good kick off for Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here? Oh, no. I, will I wouldn't even pay any attention. Now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film. Find One out second. Where the game was really lost. Call time out. This is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. No, we'll see what they do here. Time out, but... Is this a Joe Mixon a pass? Shot now for Burrow. No. <laughs> and this is intercepted. And that should do it. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And that will write a finish to this ball oh, game. We'll take it. We'll take it. The dub. The W. And they're moving on the to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. <sighs> a fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end. Looks like one of us was looking for that force win. It wasn't me, though. Wow. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working I outran it? Oh, snap. We out rushed Joe You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say oh. so long from Cincinnati. Oh. On to bigger and better things. Game gonna end. Damn. Tragic.